Hello, this is Ante from React Studio. This is the third episode of creating chat app with Firebase backend in React Studio. So uh, the first two episodes we've created so far the database and now it's time to start building the app in React Studio. In this episode we're going to build the welcome screen and the, the screen, uh, the chat room list screen. So let's start with uh, creating new project in React Studio file new and then create new project. I have a project already here and uh, I will just select the app settings tab and give a name for this app. My arms chat app. Yes. And then we're going to give some styling options for it. So I want the navigation background to be I've already copied this, so this is the WhatsApp web version color here. And this will be used in for the navigation backgrounds. I will leave all the other settings to default values, but you can change them whatever you want. And then let's rename this screen to welcome. So this will be the oh, welcome screen. And uh, click the navigation bar for it. And uh, then we need a, another screen for, for the, for the uh, chat rooms. So this will be chat rooms like this. And uh, add a background and click the navigation bar. So we have two screens, welcome and chat rooms. So let's start with welcome. Uh, probably we're going to need a button. And then we need a text. Text will be on top of the button. Like this and a name, uh, text, text input field for name. And uh, I will add a key line so that these will be always centered. Just add a key line and put it in the middle. I'll make it zero points from middle. And then just command click all of these and ally, align them from center to key line. And now, as you can see, they will be aligned to center in all screen sizes. Then I will just double click the text and uh, type something here. this and then select the field, add a placeholder, text, and do a little bit like this and then and here we have the welcome screen basically ready. Lastly we need a interaction for the continue. Oh sorry I forgot that we, we want to store the username to the data slot. So first we need to create data slot for the username. So this will be username and by default it's empty and then go back to design welcome and when user clicks continue first we're going to store the uh, this input field value to the data slot so it will be the username value so I'll just Click save data, data slot, data slot username and content of field. This is the field I could actually rename it like this so it will be more obvious. So field username will be stored to data slot username. So this is just that we can use the username in all of, all of the other screens. And then we click plus sign and add another interaction which is obviously go to chat rooms. So when user has inputted the field, name, name in the field, we store that to data slot and then we head to the chat rooms, chat rooms screen. So chat, chat room screens actually needs uh, data. 
So we head to the data tab. We need to add data sheet. This will be the data sheet that contains all the chat rooms from the from the uh, Firebase. So I will call this chat rooms. And then we need to go to actually create the create the connection to the Firebase backend. So I can just click here, data plugin setup, click add, Firebase, and then we need the config, config, uh, configuration from the from the Firebase. So go to Firebase backend and uh, click authentication. And web setup and just copy this. I will actually delete this database after we publish this these episodes so so the any of the values here will not be available anymore. And then go to back to the studio, just paste it here and then hit we could actually just rename this to Firebase Connection and then just close this one and uh, select the, select the uh, web service here. So as you can see it shows me uh, error message which is because I don't have any, any query or, or collection ID set. So we'll fix that next. So this is the collection ID and uh, in, the, in the Firebase you could see that there was a collection called, I think it was called chat rooms that we're going to type into the collection ID, ID field in React Studio. So this is the collection called chat rooms and then let's go back to the studio and type chat rooms here and we should be already downloading all the chat rooms there's only one chat room available and maybe may make it so that it will be using order by in query so the chat rooms will be always chat room name always in alphabetical order like this. I'm hop hoping that there, yeah, there was a chat room name called. And then let's go back to the chat rooms and start creating the list element. So the list actually needs component. I can just drag empty, empty component here. Call it chat room item and uh, add a background for it, make it a little bit wider. And what it actually needs, it just, uh, it just needs the text for the chat room name. And maybe, maybe we need some kind of divider line between the, between the each, each chat room. So I can just draw a rectangle here change the color of it, let's not keep it black, keep it something like this. And finally just align these like this. Maybe this could be, this textile could be headline, a little bit bigger and then align it so that it will be, I would say 10 points from left and 10 points from, 10 points from left and 10 points from right. And minus 10 points from right, obviously. And the same, same for the rectangle. And we need to drag the rectangle to the scroll flow. Go to layout, check, check left and right, 10 and minus 10. 
and our chat room item is basically basically ready. Oh sorry, we need to create the properties obviously. So just go back to the chat room item and select the text here, go to data and select the chat room name for the property. So this will be this will show the chat room name when we use this component in a list. And go to back to the chat rooms, add a list, uh, align it from left to right, zero points, so it will be full full width. Go to data and select data source. Obviously the data source will be chat rooms. And then head to the element and use select the list item component, which will be the chat room item we just created. And here we have it. We have the first chat room already showing appearing here, and then we just need to tweak tweak these settings here. So uh, with the small screen, I don't want to use uh, it as a grid, and maybe maybe we'll show leave it like this in every screen size. And we could add some spacing between between the items. I think four four would be four would be great. And now, if we uh, if we add a new chat room in in the backend, it will appear actually to the studio when we when we when we update update the data sheet. I will just click Command S for saving this project, and then we're we're just going to save the save the project file and. Uh, we can actually already run it to browser. It will only show us one chat room. And in the next episode, we're going to create some. Uh, we're going to create the adding the chat rooms function and uh, showing the chat messages function. So hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next episode.